Hey guys, Kelly DC here for another Tea Time with Kelly where we discuss all the hot topics of the day. So let's get into them. Okay guys, first topic today is immigration. Right here in California where I'm stationed, we have lots and lots of debate over this right now. So earlier this year, California passed an act called SB 54, basically stating and limiting how much the federal government and the local community police can interact with each other, basically making us a sanctuary state. So what does that really mean? We had issues from some of the smaller communities ever since. Now a lawsuit has been cropped up by a small Orange County city called Los Alamitos requesting to opt out of the law. There was no placement in this law to really opt out of it as a city, so they're saying that it is unconstitutional for them to have to follow it. We'll be able to follow this case and see where it comes from from there. Okay, guys? Okay, guys, topic Tuesday. A little bit of immigration, a little bit not. Cannabis is now officially legal in Canada, so that's a big move for them. How this affects immigration, it's if you're coming into the United States and if you own cannabis industry products, if you own growing cannabis companies, things of that nature, although it is now legal in many US states, it is still illegal federally. So admitting to smoking pot, admitting to owning a cannabis store, things of this nature would still be deemed drug use to the US government. Um, Drew Thorpe also warned of having 420 snapshots on your social media, admitting to smoking, um, admitting to investing can also add to being held in secondary and denial of entry into the US. So definitely when you're coming in and out, think of it, um, don't realize, you know, kind of keep in the back of your mind, even though it is legal there, it is still considered a drug in America to make sure you don't get in trouble with what you're saying. Okay guys? Okay guys, topic three, who is winning the social media war in politics? Social media has played a huge impact in politics lately. Um, much of Trump's campaign and his upset victory in 2016, he really, social media propelled him into the faces of the masses. When I have close to 100 million people watching me on Twitter, w including Facebook, including all of the Instagram, including POTUS, including lots of things, but we have, you know, I guess pretty close to 100 million people. I have my own form of media. 53,000 posts have been made this year alone by 1,100 different accounts. All Republicans and Democratic candidates running for House, Senate, and Governor this year, they're really using their social media accounts to get their message out there, to get their message to the masses. Two people who may never have picked up a newspaper or been an interest in politics previously can easily just add them on social media and really kind of widen their impact. So we'll see how this really impacts politics going forward. I find it super fascinating. Maybe more people will get involved and that's always a good thing. Okay guys, that's it for Tea Time today. Hope to see you next week when we have more topics and more things to discuss. Bye guys.